Second Corinthians 9 from uh, verse 6 to verse 8. I'm reading from Amplified. Second Corinthians 9 from 6 to 9 to 8. Remember this, he who sows sparingly and grudgingly will also reap sparingly and grudgingly. And he who sows generously that blessings may come to someone will also reap generously and with blessings. Let each one give as he has made up his own mind and purposed in his heart, not reluctantly or sorrowfully or under compulsion. For God loves, he takes pleasure in prizes. Above, <clears throat> above other things and is unwilling to abandon or to, to do without. A cheerful, joyous, prompt to do it giver whose heart is in his giving. And God is, is able to make all grace, every favor and earthly blessings come to you in abundance so that you may always and under all circumstances and whatever the need be self-sufficient, possessing enough to require no aid or support and furnished in abundance for every good work and charitable donation. While I was preparing for, for this message, I saw a nice, uh, I think it's an American guy illustrating a conversation between a, a $20 bill and a $1 bill. I don't know if you've heard of that. Uh, while the $20 bill chatting to the $1 bill, the $20 says, I've been into many places. I've been into casinos. I've been into, they have went to lottery. I've been with drug dealers. I've been with all fancy places, hotels, all fun and loving games, everything, movies. And then he asked the $1 bill, where have you been? Oh, I've been from church to church. <laughs> the, a couple of weeks back, I, I read a thing on Northsider where they were announcing that uh, the casino just down the road is going to get a multi million facelift. Then I asked myself, why don't you read about stories where you'll say, hear people saying that? Uh, they are building a billion rand church somewhere, or they are doing a facelift for a church, uh, a billion rand facelift for a church. Then that's when I asked myself, what, what's happening with, with the kingdom? People are willing to build uh, entertainment. They are willing to go out for expensive dinners, go out for uh, fun movies, pay hundred grand for a movie ticket. Why can't we come in and build the God's house? Why can't we build God's kingdom? People, whenever it's time to give, they go for the small change. They go for uh, small change, which giving to God, you, you think that's, that's nothing. You think I can give to God whatever I want. But if we have the same heart, if we believe that we're going to watch this movie that will entertain me, that will bring fun into my life, why don't I take out what I think God deserves and put it into the basket and say, you know what, this is going to build God's kingdom. Just imagine we, we tithe, we offer, and one day we go into TV, Pastor Johan preaches, people in Sudan say, you know what, I want to make a testimony. I opened a TV, I saw this pastor from South Africa. He made us to have peace in Sudan. Why can't you build such a kingdom for everyone and go out and say, we are proud of God's children and give like the word which says that, give from your heart. Don't just give because, oh, I just want to keep the pastor quiet. Just want us to come. <laughs> give from your heart. God knows what's in your heart. Even that one ran, God knows that 
what's the message behind that one? And I know, I think about two weeks back, uh, I came and gave an offering message. I also said that no matter how small it is, but if it's from the heart and God accepts it and God knows that my child is giving it from his or her heart, God will bless you. All grace will come upon you. God will open ways, move mountains for you because it comes from the heart. So I pray that every, each and every one of us, when we come here at the front, like I said uh, the last time, just hold your offering, speak to it, speak to it with, the, with your heart and bless it. It will open doors. The one rent that you put in, if you put in it with, with your heart, it will feed somebody outside. It will send a message to people who need to know God in Sudan, whatever countries. If we pay, if, if, if we, we offer from our heart. So I pray that each and every one of us, let's understand, let's understand the law of sowing and reaping. And let's give from our heart. Amen. Amen. We can all come forward.